Alright, so this video we're going to look at finding uh, second partial derivatives. So for this problem we're going to find uh, fxx, fyy, fxy, and f sub yx. Okay? And all this is, the xx, that is the uh, second partial with respect to x. Okay. Now, and this would be the same thing, but we would have the y instead. Now, this this would be written, you can write it as the partial of x. I'm sorry. That should be an f. And this would be the partial of f with respect to x and then with respect to y. Okay. So, Let's take a look at this one. Let's let's find the second partial. Well, the first thing we have to do is we have to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So the partial of f with respect to x. So remember, y is treated like a constant term. Okay, y is treated like a constant. So this 2y cubed is constant. Okay, so. Well, what's the derivative of 2y cubed x? Well, that would just be 2y cubed. It would be the same exact thing as if we were finding the derivative of 5x. The derivative of 5x is 5. And that's all this 2y cubed is, is a constant. Minus, and now remember, x is our variable, y is our constant. So I'll bring the 2 down, that's going to be 6x subtract 1 y. Okay. So this would be the first partial with respect to x. Now let's find the second partial with respect to x. So now I just take the partial of this one with respect to x. So the partial with respect to x, what's the derivative of 2y cubed? Well remember we're in x so y cubed is the constant x is the variable. So what's the derivative of a constant term? It's 0. Alright, so that's just 0. And then what's the derivative of this? Well, x is our variable. 6y, that's our constant. So just like before, what's the derivative of 5x? 5. So what's the derivative of 6yx? That would just be let me change the color back. That would just be 6y. And so this would be negative 6y. Alright. So now let's do the other one. Alright. So to find the second partial with respect to y. So I've got fyy. So I've got to find the first partial with respect to y. So now I'm taking the derivative of this but y is my variable and x is acting like a constant. So you see the 2x here? That's just a constant term. So now I'm going to bring the 3 down so that's 6x and then I subtract 1 from the exponent and that's y squared. And then this one I've got the 3x squared which is a constant times y. So the derivative of that would be minus 3x squared. Now I can do the second partial. Okay. So now all I do here is I take the derivative of this with respect to y. So remember x is a constant, y is the variable. So the 2 comes down that's 12x, subtract 1, that's going to leave me with y. And then the derivative of 3x squared, well, 3x squared is a constant. So the derivative of this is 0. And so this would be my solution for this one and this one. All right, so now let's work on these two. I'm going to erase this. I'll pause the video while I do it. When, we, when I come back, I'll do this one. All right, so we're back. So now let's find this one, fxy. 
So the first thing I have to do is I have to take the partial derivative of this with respect to x. So I've got f x. Now we did this in this problem. So remember y is a constant, x is the variable. So the derivative of this would be 2y cubed. Okay, 2y cubed, that's just like a number. Okay, minus, and then for here, well, the 3 and the y, those are constant terms. So I bring the 2 down, that's going to be 6, subtract 1, x, y. Okay, now I can take the derivative of this with respect to y. And so the derivative of this would be what? 6y squared. See, y is my variable now. And then the derivative of this, okay, the 6x is a constant. So the derivative of a constant times y is that constant term. And so that would be my solution. All right, so let's look at this last one. So I've got to take the partial with respect to y and then x. So the partial with respect to y, so the partial of this with respect to y, okay, so y is our variable, x is our constant. So the 3 comes down, so that's 6xy squared minus, and then I have a constant times y. So what's the derivative of a constant times the variable? It's that constant term. Okay. Now I take the partial with respect to x. Okay, so the derivative of this, well, this is my variable. The 6y squared is my constant. So what's, a, what's the derivative of a constant times a variable? To the first power. Okay, it's just the constant term. Minus, and then I have 3x squared. Well, that's just 6x, and that would be my solution. All right, so I hope this video helped. They're, you know, they're not that bad. Uh, you just got to just be careful when you're doing it. And remember, when you're taking the partial with respect to x, x is the variable. You treat y like a constant term. If you're taking the partial of f with respect to y, y is your variable. You treat x like a constant. All right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.